Hey there! We heard you're going to your first play ever! There's some things you need to know before you go. Our lovely actors will act out some scenarios while our audience will react. First things first, what's a play? Is it the same as a movie? No! A play is different than a movie because a movie is pre-recorded and shown on a screen and plays are stories being told live in front of you. Because a play is live, we behave a little differently than we would watching a movie. Let's see some examples, shall we? If you were watching a movie at home and really didn't like it, it wouldn't really make that much of a difference if you said it out loud, would it? But with a play, the people on stage can hear and see everything you're doing and saying. Believe it or not, your actions during the show can make the play better or worse. Now that we know this will not make the play better, let's look at what will. We all know it's okay to laugh while watching a movie, but wouldn't it be weird if we clapped while watching a movie? Huh? A play is different because you're supposed to laugh and clap a lot. The more you clap and laugh, the more the actors know you like it, and the better it'll be. By this point, I'm sure you're wondering, if I have this much control over the play, does that mean it isn't exactly the same every time? And not only do your reactions change the show, but sometimes you're also asked to join the actors, and that changes the play too. For example, the actors might want your help cooking, so you have to shout the ingredients that you've already learned to go in the dish. But if you stay silent, you, you take, take a, a cup off, a cup off, and a pinch off. Does that help make the show better? Let's try that again with more excitement. You take a cup off, milk, a cup off, water, and a pinch off. See, wasn't that more fun? Even though it might be weird to talk to your TV, it's totally acceptable to do that here. Wait a second. Did I just say you can talk during the show? Oops. Let me explain. You may get a few dirty looks from your family or friends if you talk during a movie at home, but it is still mostly acceptable. The reason it's okay is because you can always pause or rewind the movie if you miss something. But the same thing is not true for a play. If you talk during a play, you won't be able to rewind it, and if you could, it would be super silly. So, it really is kindest to everyone to not talk during the show unless the actors ask you. Well, I think you're almost ready to see a play. There's just one more thing that I want to show you. The theater! The theater is where we go to see a play. You'll enter through the lobby. This is where people buy tickets to see the show. You may notice that the lights are a little dim when you come in. No need to be afraid, we make it darker so that the focus can be on the actors when it's time to start. After you enter the lobby, you'll sit in the house. This is what we call the place where the audience sits. You'll probably get here early and have to sit for a few minutes before the play starts. Luckily, we play some fun music to listen to while you wait. Once the show starts, you'll notice that all the lights will turn off. Again, you don't have to be afraid. That's just so you can focus on the actors on stage. The stage is the place where the actors will perform. The audience must stay in their seats and not join the actors on stage, because you're here to enjoy the show. But sometimes the actors might come to you to say hi. The show will last about an hour, so make sure to ask your teacher if you can use the bathroom before the show starts, so you don't have to miss anything. Well, I think you're finally ready to see your first play. Be sure to remember all the fun things we learned today. We can't wait to see you soon. Bye!